All right, guys. This is how you do your your uh, change your seatbelt uh, buckle. Um, my seatbelt's acting up. So basically, you move the seats forward all the way up, and you're gonna find that there's some plastic things here. You, all you do is just go like this, remove it out. It's gonna have these screws inside, right? So you just use this baby right here and just go like that and um, get get them out. Um, unfortunately, to change the seatbelt buckle, you have to get these screws out of here, okay? I'm gonna leave it like that because it's loose. So now what I'm gonna do is yank this thing out. It's loose, so I'm gonna go up in the front. I'm gonna go up in the front. Now, I'm gonna slowly move this back. Okay, because there's, there should also be some screws right here that you have to um, take out. That way you can remove the whole seat because this belt buckle is inside in the back under there and you have to remove the seat that way you could get there. Um, they will charge you about $500. Um, 400 minimum. Just to do this. When you could just do it yourself. Or uh, stand by. I'll get to it. Okay. Now you get in the front. You're going to go in the front. You're going to try to reach in there. Remove these. You have to do this one too. So. Stand by. All right, guys, once you do that, your seatbelt should be able to do this, right? And it comes right off, and this is what you're looking at. You don't even have to move it nowhere else. The seatbelt buckle should be right over here. Um, so I could go through on the other side of the door and switch that up. I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But this is how you get in there. You don't, you know, don't be scared. You know, anybody could do this. Females, you could do this too. You know, uh, you might as well clean up a little bit. I keep my car clean, so. But if, you know, if you lost a penny or something down there, you already know what to do. Stand by. Right? So, if you want, that way you don't have to take it out. Um, just keep it in there. It's going to look like this. This is the seatbelt buckle. I got a brand new one in here in this box. I'm going to show you guys. It's a brand new one in here. But this is the stuff right here that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take this baby out. There's a wire here connected to this. And you have to go in there and detach this cable. This cable right here. And detach it from right here. Alright. So you're going to use the same device. Mind you, this is the seatbelt. You're going to use the same device right here. Just going to go like that. Because that seatbelt is attached there. So you just keep doing it. Okay. Just keep doing it. To get that off until it comes off. So once that's off... Once this comes off, right, I'm going to take it off right now. You just replace it with this, see? Same thing. And you just put it here. You put that right here. And you should be fine. Stand by. All right, guys, I'm trying to do this with two hands. All right? So just remember, you got to detach these little things. All you got to do is squeeze them right here. They're going to be right here attached to this hole right in here. Um, squeeze them. They'll come off. Take this thing out from there and replace this one and put it inside put it inside like that all right and just go along and trace it back all the way to the wire underneath the seat I'll show you guys all right so now that that's like that make sure you take this and you pop it right in that little hole right in here 
should be there we go and just continue to follow the same path that the old one leads to okay this is the new one this is the old one I'm just following the same wire in reverse and adding everything back putting everything back in place okay I don't mean to get you guys confused so that's the new seat belt right there I still haven't put the screw because the screw is right here um, this is the old one OC belt which is bad um, so I put this thing here right here this is the old one it broke oh well I'm not gonna use it again um, that's from the OC belt which is right there again for you know trying to, I'm just repeating myself because I want to make sure uh, whoever's watching this un understands this is the old one right here so I'm just gonna take it um, try to get it under here Right. Pulling it out And I'm going to trace it back here So um, we, I just dropped it down And I'm going to grab This one Right this is the new one We got to get this Attached um, So we're going to go right under Same direction That the other one was going Oh man Okay. Now, as you can see, the old this is the old one. This is this is the new one. I got to attach that on there. So we just follow through on it. Stand by, let me get this out. Okay. This is the new one again. This is the old one. What I did was I took this out of here. Out of here. So now I'm going to replace with the new one and put it in here. All you have to do is just clip it on and it attaches right now mind you that's the OC belt right here so we just tracing it back now we just got this all we have to do is take this out um, and attach this one on there so let me see let me get in there real quick hopefully um okay so there's another attachment thing on here Let's see if I could get it out Give me one second. Uh, there's one more back here, guys. This one. That one right there. Okay. I took that last one out, which is right here. Took it out. Now all I have to do is take that one and put it in there, okay? Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just do that now. Let me come around this wire because I don't want any inconvenience in the future and now you put it in that hole right in there and you just take it and you just clip it in there okay i hope you guys are picking up on this stand by all right so yeah again this is the old seat belt we're still trying to get it out of socket right in here so you just all you have to do is click this and my nails are you click this you hold it hard you press and you take this out right and this should be the this should be able to come off Hold on. this is from the old seat belt how the heck there we go my fault so this was like this was on here like this and I pulled it out I guess it clips on here okay so now this is the old seat belt. We put that on the side. Now, this right here is the new one, as I showed you guys. So we're gonna use that little hook thing right here, attach it, and attach this here, okay? Just stand by. Okay, I attached that there, and now all I have to do is attach this. So, all we're gonna do is take it, and we're gonna slightly press on it. It cl clips right on, and there you have it. Um, now we just have to connect the seat belt uh, on the side. Um, so stand by. Okay, guys. Now that we got that connected, the centers and everything um, for the seat belt. It's a brand new seat belt. Um, now we have to hook it up right here. Um, 
Just so you see, it wasn't that hard, right? Now we just got to screw this back on. All right? Nothing crazy. Um, Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So you do. I just pick this up. <laughs> oh, shit. Where'd it go? <laughs> Hold on, guys. I hate when that happens. I think it fell. Give me a sec. Alright, back in action, man. Don't let it drop. <laughs> It'll fall right down. I probably, I hope I don't drop it again. Um, take that. Here we go. Alright. Start turning that, baby. You know. Start turning that baby in there. Now, what we're going to do is, we got to switch this around. Okay. And uh, on second, there we go. It's tightening up. Make sure that seatbelt is still is facing upwards. That way, it's easy just to um, reach for it when we get this stuff attached. Uh, shit! I should have put some um some rust oil thingy on it I got some right here um this is pretty good you know little oil make sure there's no rust on your metal um I just want to make sure it's good put a little bit of, of it on there So, okay, get back to business. There we go. And get it tight. Okay, that's connect. That's good right there. All right, so we all set. You cover that baby up. Seatbelt's brand new. Seat seatbelt buckle. I mean, now remember you gotta you gotta put this back in the same position it was at. Oh, is that a spider? That looks like a spider or something. Anyway, it ain't gonna do shit. Um. It's just on my way. You're gonna take these screws. I'll put the screws all on the side so I don't forget them. And they're gonna go in here. But you're gonna have to attach this on here, okay? So you just gotta position the chair back in its regular position. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna add some of this oil rust thingy on here. All right, for future reference. You know. Make sure that's good, and I'm gonna position this back. Okay, stand by. Now it's in position right now. Um, now you got to make sure the back is in position also. Let's see. See, I got the screws ready to go side by side of where they need to be. Uh, this look like it's in position. This one looks like it's in position. So we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of some of this. You don't have to, but I just wanna do it. I don't wanna make sure the stuff is right. Okay. And uh, let's start with the front. Now we get into the front, right? Just you might have to shake, move the chair a little bit to make sure it's good in position. I got my tools here. Okay, you're gonna take this. Um, take this, place it right back in there. Start turning it. Okay. 
and you're gonna do this to the the front once don't uh, tighten it yet just in case um, the front ones you're gonna oh sh oh yeah I'm good I'm like yo did I forget to put oil on it the um, I'm good see that's why I do things a certain way okay gonna keep turning that baby keep turning that baby until it's like somewhat tight um, we're not gonna use that yet like I said um, so now you can take the chair should be able to move it forward right because we're gonna actually start from the back yeah start from the back huh yeah I like that shit <laughs> all right we're gonna start from the back Here we go. So my tool's up and ready. You know, everything's in position. Got my tool here. Make sure this is good. Um, pick this up from here. Ooh, this is kind of extra rusty. I'm going to spray that a little more. Give me a sec. I'm going to have to spray it. Yeah. Hold on. Especially this right here. Ooh. Yeah, we can't have no rust up in there. Um, anyway, so take this, place it back in there. You might have to position this a little bit. So I'm turning that baby. Let's see. This is a little rusty, but it'll get in there. There we go. here there we go you might have to hold this a little bit you might have to move this with your pinky middle finger to the side because it kind of moves a little bit um, okay and then you take the other one all right this should be good. Let me just throw a little bit of, just in case. I don't want no inconvenience. Okay. Take that baby. Oh, I found a pin. All right. This one's smooth. I'm just moving this, that way we make sure this side is good. Get it tightened with your hands. So once it's tightened with your hands, then you can actually use the tool. Okay. So we're going to start with this side because this side is the one that seems to be a little bit much more difficult. And again, look at that little thing. I don't know what it is. I think it's a spider. It's trying to tell me that, yo, I live in here. I might have to spray all that with this. Because this is, this is looking crazy back here. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to spray that stuff too. That way your thing slides back and forth. With no issues, you know. Because that's rust building up on there. That's not good. This ain't even. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm still turning this thing. Is this even working? There we go. There we go. Make sure it gets real tight on there. Might have to use both hands. See? <laughs> or it pops up. Let me use both hands. Give me a sec. Oh, 
all right that should be good right in there now you're gonna take this place it in there take your little piece now you go with this one there we go oh boy my hand is kind of greasy right now so oh this tightened pretty quick now guys since this is tight i'm gonna have to use both hands because i don't want to injure myself and i hope you guys do the same all right that's good it's attached pretty well i'm gonna take take this go up in the front now work the front and then we should be good okay Put this on the side. I'm gonna move this back. So, let's see what happens. Wow, 21 minutes. Let me try to cut it short. Uh, guys, so basically, go on here, attach it, and you should be good. All right. Um. Oh, wow, what the heck? All right, guys, and that's that. Got a brand new seat belt. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna test it out. Oh man. Okay. Gonna move this. We're gonna see what's up now. So usually when your seat belt goes bad, it pops up on here, it's red, it starts making noise. That shit's annoying as hell. So I'm gonna turn this baby on. I'm gonna take the seat belt. And we're gonna watch that go turn off. Hooks right on there. And there you go. Oh yeah. We use uh we use cameras up in here, you know. Highly recommend. But anyway. So yeah, there you go. Yep, and that's how you uh do your own seat belt. You save $500. They could even charge you more. So be careful, guys. Don't let them get you, man. All right. You got that uh, line and refine here. I'm going to holler at y'all. Until next time. Peace.